Hello everybody, you're here with Kathleen and Robert, Lanny the dogs down here. That makes this conversations with Kathleen and Robert. Today we're talking about hopeful, joyful, wonderful things that are going on between Thaddeus and St. Albans. Of course, sometimes when you're talking about hopeful and joyful things, you also have to talk about the troubling, concerning part of the equation. And for our sake, I mean, I think what we talk about often is, or what a lot of folks talk about, seems to be about how people less and less seem to be going to church. People less and less seem to be giving money to church, which makes doing church challenging, difficult, different. And oftentimes the response to that is to get anxious and say, well, how can we fix it? How can we make people go to church? Or how can we change what we got going on and inspire more people to come to church? Or what are we gonna to do to fix this thing? And maybe instead of saying that, St. Albans and St. Thaddeus is saying, what is God up to? What is God doing in the midst of all this? And so to answer that question or to get at that question, we thought we gotta get in connection with people out there, mm -hmm. right? So we created a group that is all about doing that work. Mm -hmm. And Kathleen knows more about that group than I do. Yes. So the Resurrection Group meets on Tuesdays at St. Thaddeus after the 6 p.m. Eucharist. Our next meeting is on October 1st. But what we've been working on is a relationship with the Dawn program of Hamilton County. And that is an alternative school program um, for youth. And the teachers that work there have a lot of different joys and challenges that come with that learning and working environment. So what St. Thaddeus and St. Albans really would love to do is to serve these teachers and be in relational ministry with them so that we can learn um, what kind of they're dealing with in their uh, working atmosphere, in their day-to-day -day lives as teachers, as educators in Hamilton County and how we as churches can be there for them. That's right. And the hope there is to build some spiritual maturity for us. So, you know, oftentimes we think about outreach as, okay, so what is this need that's out there that we, and we have a resource or an insight or some knowledge and we can take that and bring it to bear upon this need and fix that need. Instead, I think the Resurrection Group is all about recognizing that we have some spiritual needs. We have some questions, and we wonder how God is showing up. And what better place to see that at work than with people who are working with children who um, are often sort of left behind by the greater sort of uh, uh, society, kids who are overlooked often, uh, who are dealing with some of the biggest struggles and challenges. So. Being in relationship with teachers who work with kids who face those kind of challenges might teach us something about how to be spiritually mature in the world, how to know that God is up to something and doing something. God's going to show up in these difficult times, right? So on one hand, we are. We're showing up with some cool stuff like snacks and drinks and a teacher card. And, uh, but the really cool part of it is having those conversations. And the hope is that those conversations will lead us into a deeper understanding of who God is. So when's the next time this Resurrection Group is meeting? October the 1st, um, after our 6 p.m. Eucharist at St. Thaddeus, uh, and that is on Tuesdays. So right now we're doing it every other week, um, but that may change towards the end of this year. That's right. 